Yes. So let me now invite uh, General uh, Mansoor from the Maldives to present. The Chiefs of Army and the Navy, distinguished delegates, Her Excellency, Honorable High Commissioner of Maldives to Sri Lanka, the moderator of our panel, Vice Chancellor of the KDO, and ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and assalamu alaikum. The experience of Maldives from an island perspective in our tourism industry development through innovation, research and education is an experience that we would like to share today. In 1970s, after the independence of Maldives from the British, Maldives was desperate in a, in a dire situation to for more foreign exchange and also economic development. Look at a country that has no natural resources with 1,190 islands and 200 inhabited islands with only two or three commodities to export, the dried fish and copra. And hence, we were lucky to have an adventurous traveler visiting Maldives in 1972, looking for tourism development, looking for islands and hideaway places to venture out natural beauty and peace. First Maldives resort was opened in 1972 in these three islands. However, during that time, the, the first pioneers of the tourism industry, they said, I quote Mr. M. M. U. Manik, what he said, I was the gardener, I was the room boy, and also I was the cook. This is how the Maldives began its tourism industry, what we, the whole region, is proud of. Those days it was only 30 tourists or 40 tourists per year, but today it has reached up to 1 million. It doesn't take much those days to set up a tourist resort, not as it is. It was basic stuff, coconut-thatched roofs, and very basic infrastructure. But today it is more than $100 million some resorts cost to set it up. This is the main two or three areas. First it was, it began, and it has gradually now spread out throughout the country. As you can see from the slide, in 1972, the construction of two resorts began. These are the main first pioneers of the industry. This is the present at the beginning. The UNDP said the modest tourism industry will not flourish because it has no infrastructure, it has no transport network, it has no communication, and it has no airports. But after 40 years, we, the humans, have proved it wrong. We have, at the moment, we have two international airports and six regional airports continuously transporting tourists from Mali to various resorts. It was mechanized small boats first, then the speed boats, 
and now it is mainly seaplanes, which has over 80, close to 100 seaplanes in Maldives, catering the tourism industry. These are the differences. Like the Honorable Minister today said, it is the human capacity that we have to exploit, focus, and innovation, education, and research. It's Kurumbai 1977, 1970s, 80s, and how it is today at the bottom picture. These are the beautiful pictures that you can see how the tourism industry of Maldives has developed and innovated. One resort, one, one island is the concept that Maldives has developed. How to provide electricity for one island of about three square kilometers. How to provide running water. How to provide a sewage system. Like in Sri Lanka, for example, we can use the main electric system, electricity system, water, as well as the sewage system. But for one island of about three square kilometers, Maldives had to innovate, research, and find the best way to sustain such services and facilities. These are the levels that Maldives have reached today. You can eat yourself. First underwater nightclub, underwater spa, bungalow. So Molly says this record. This is a GDP contribution. From 2000 to 2012, it has gone up to 30%. But also don't forget about the like 80% of foreign receipt from tourism industry. Tourist arrivals from 1972 to, 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 uh, to 2013, it has reached up to 1,000,000 last year. Look at the 2004 tsunami struck and also 2007 and 8 downturn of the world economy. How that industry has struck wherever it is. So peace, stability, Economic development is a precondition for tourism development and sustenance. These are the main activities today tourism industry is engaged in, like island hopping, water sports, spa, diving. Recently we have seen an increased number of tourists arriving from the region. Earlier it was always Europe, but now it is the region. So many Indian couples are coming to Maldives to spend their honeymoon. Thank you very much, our Indian friends. <laughs> and Chinese arrival have, my God, gone too high up and cross the line of the Europeans. And also thank you very much, sir. At the moment, we have 108 resorts, 19 hotels. Guest house concept was introduced in 2009, 10. Now, we, uh, uh, we have guest houses in inhabited islands. Earlier it was, the resort was only itself, one island, one resort concept. But the government has introduced guest house to the coexistence with local population and guest houses have 189. Safari, safari 